just 10 days after the British budget was presented, slashing taxes on the super rich as a way to jumpstart the country's economy, the British government has been forced into a humiliating U turn. The removal of the 45% tax bracket without a plan to make up for the revenue loss pulled the rug from under the pound. The stock markets triggered one of the biggest sell off in British bonds. The rollback announced by Finance Minister Kwasi Kwarteng brought back some stability to the British markets. Along with an onslaught of memes and ridicule on social media, Resign was a top hashtag on Twitter most of the day, while £65 billion, the amount estimated lost in the past few days, was one of the trending phrases. A lot, as you know, can happen in a fortnight and how challenging it's been, the pound falling, bond markets in a mess and business confidence low. Until two weeks ago, the most damaging thing Kwasi Kwarteng had ever done was swear on university challenge. <laughs> to, to be fair, Liz Truss did tell us she was planning to hit the ground from day one. She just never told us she was taking the pound with her. Also trending heavily on social media, calls to bring back Rishi Sunak, the Indian origin politician who held the post of the Chancellor of the Exchequer during the challenging COVID period of February 2020 to July 2022. One of his pre-election debates with Liz Truss has been also doing the rounds. For the new Prime Minister and the new government is to grip inflation. We cannot make it worse. Inflation is the enemy that makes everybody poorer. It erodes your savings. It erodes your living standards. It means that those of you that have mortgages will see your interest rates go up higher and higher. So I don't think the responsible thing to do right now is launch into some unfunded spree of borrowing and more debt. That will just make inflation worse. It will make the problem longer. Let's be clear. We have inflation <coughs> because of our monetary policy that we haven't been tough enough on the monetary supply. That's the way I would address that issue. Okay. But it is wrong. Interest rates up. Mortgage is nightmare. Yeah, it is, it is. No, well, we, look, we, we, Liz, we have to be honest. We, well, we have honest. to be honest. But borrowing your way out of inflation isn't a plan. It's a fairy tale. Meanwhile, faced with an erosion in investor confidence, the duo of Prime Minister Liz Truss and her finance minister are trying their best to convince the international community, the British government was focusing on building a high-growth economy with opportunities for all. Bureau Report, Business Today Television.